Amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, the New Zealand passport finds its way to the top in the world's power rankings. Raquel Evangelista, one of our fellow correspondents here in New Zealand, will explain why live. Yes, Raquel? Elsie, the Kiwi passport shared the top position alongside Japan as powerful passports in the world amid the pandemic. But recent rankings showed New Zealand solely on top. The New Zealand Little Black Book was deemed to be the most powerful passport by index which compares the access granted by the passports of 193 United Nations member countries. It means that New Zealand, New Zealand passport holders has now visa-free access or visa on entry to 129 countries, which is up from 80 during the peak of coronavirus pandemic earlier in the year. According to Passport Index Harant Bogosian, New Zealand's excellent handling of the COVID-19 crisis reflected in its citizens quickly being accepted to travel to other nations. Japan has slipped back to second place with 128 alongside Germany, Austria, Luxembourg, Switzerland, Ireland, South Korea, and Australia. Top three include Sweden, Belgium, France, Finland, Italy, Spain with 127. Top four includes Netherlands, Denmark, Portugal, Lithuania, Norway, Iceland, UK, and Canada with 126. Top five includes Malta, Slovenia, Latvia with 125. Top six, Czech Republic, Estonia, Greece, Poland, Hungary, Liechtenstein with 124. Top seven, Slovakia with 123. Top eight, Cyprus, Croatia, Monaco with 121. Top nine, Romania and Bulgaria with 120. Top ten, San Marino, Andorra, Uruguay with 115. Elsie? Raquel, when the passport index says powerful passport, what does this mean? LC, it means that you can enter a particular country without any visa at all, or you can enter their country then acquire a visa upon entering. So the more country you can enter visa-free, the more powerful your passport is. LC? Raquel, Auckland will transition to alert level 1 tomorrow, Wednesday. But what travel restrictions are still in place for local travelers and international travelers? Elsie, when traveling locally and using public transport, the NZ COVID Tracer app is highly recommended and also using a face mask. Though not legally required, but it is highly encouraged when using public transport. International travelers arriving to New Zealand must complete at least a 14-day of managed isolation or quarantine at an isolation facility and will be tested for COVID-19 as well. New Zealand borders is closed to most travelers and entry is strictly controlled. If traveling to New Zealand from October 5, a voucher confirming your place in a managed isolation facility needs to be arranged before boarding a flight. Elsie? Thank you, Raquel Evangelista, reporting live from Wellington, New Zealand. <music>